Okay. Um, hi guys, uh, this is again a video for the Electrotechnique 143 group. Um, and this is to answer a question that I had in class from a few people. And I thought about, as I said then, making a video might be the easiest because um, that'll answer it, uh, the question for a bunch of, um, a bunch of groups. Okay, uh, a bunch of people. So subject is Electrotechnique 143 of the um, Electronic Engineering Department at Stellenbosch University. And the question here is when we have components components in a circuit, right? So at this stage, we know we've got resistors and we have, for example, uh, voltage sources. We have, um, this is an independent voltage source and uh, this is a, a dependent voltage source where the value might, for example, be dependent on some other component here the voltage on this dependent uh, voltage source is determined by a current flowing through another part of a circuit okay so and then also what we have is we have our current sources right so um which uh, which looks like this and similar to the voltage sources we also have um both dependent and independent volt um, current sources okay so the, the question is when we've got a circuit containing these components, is this component a, is this component delivering energy, or is it absorbing energy? Okay, so the, that is um, that's been a question in a few of the tutorials and few of the practicals, and is a concept that I really want you guys to understand. Um, I think it gets dangerous. Once you start just relying on the sign, oh, is my power positive or is my power negative, and 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 that's all you you use to determine whether something is giving or absorb, um, absorbing energy, um, without you really understanding why that sign is positive or negative. Okay, so the goal of this video is to clarify this a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw um, a simple circuit like this which just consists of uh, a voltage source, V. We've got current flowing I, and then we've got this resistor R. So in line with what we call the passive sign convention, remember is I said that if current flows through resistor over here, it's going to cause a voltage drop over that resistor, right? And our convention, our sign convention that we're going to follow is this, plus minus V. All right, so this current flowing through this resistor is equal to, uh, uh, generates a voltage drop over it with the polarity plus minus V, and the convention is that the plus sign of the voltage is written at the side where the current is entering the resistor. Okay, so if... Uh, or, and what what is the other property that we know about resistors, right? So we wanna we wanna figure out what is the 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 value of the power either delivered or absorbed by this uh, resistor. We can calculate it as we've derived in class, like this, like I squared R. So the power in this resistor, it's logical. The power is always going to be dissipated, right? So as electrons moves through this resistor, this resistor um, uh, creates resistance to that and it heats up, okay? So the power, there's always, it's always going to absorb power. So we have a reference for a component. Let's, let's put our, let's create a little black box, okay? And inside this black box, we now have this, this resistor R sitting there, R, okay? And we say that Oh, we now know that if current is flowing inside of it, well, this is this is our relationship with the current flowing into the resistor and voltage over this resistor. For this particular case, this case, this black box, if it hosts a component where current is flowing into, generating a voltage drop like this, then this current is being, a uh, power is being absorbed in this case. Okay, so let's see now what is happening now to this um, to this voltage source. Is this voltage source now um, d 
delivering or absorbing energy? Well, if we look at this circuit, we know that the resistor is absorbing energy. And as I told you guys in class, you have this principle in physics and in, in, in science that energy cannot be created from nothing or um, it cannot just disappear. Energy always has to go from one form to another form. So if this component is absorbing the energy, well, this component has to deliver the energy. So let's look at our little reference drawing of um, a component where the current and voltage is doing this. Let's see if we can use this to determine if this thing is delivering or absorbing energy. Okay, so we've got our voltage plus minus V, right? And we've got our current exiting. Okay, so it looks a little bit different to, to this. Our current is flowing into the negative terminal over here. Huh? So this means that this, if this thing is absorbing power, then this case has to be delivering power. Okay, so in the textbook, I see what they do over here is they say that P is equal to, um, let's say, V times I and we are you we're going to use the negative value for i so p would be smaller than zero in this case but what i want you to understand more is that if i say that this is my reference for a case where power is being absorbed and i'm using my current in this direction which generates a voltage shown as here and i say that this is the case where power is being absorbed and something else happens like this, like we can replace this voltage source with, for example, a current source or something else. Then this would be the case where power is delivered. Okay, but as I said to you, don't get confused. A source, like a voltage source or a current source or something like that, could also be absorbing energy. And why is that? That's be, If you think about it, your cell phone runs dry, right? Uh, or gets empty, and then you plug it into the sock, in, into a charger, and that charges again. So then it becomes a sink of power, okay? So if, for example, this source, if it turns out that according to my calculations, my current was flowing over this, like this side, right? And it's very easy to, to, to get a, case like this. Uh, remember from Kirchhoff's voltage law, current law, or anything. If it happens that our current is flowing into this resistor, over here, uh, into this source over here, then I've got a case which looks similar to what is shown over here for the resistor. So this source would be absorbing power as well. Okay, so look at the sign of the voltage, look at the current, Remember that if current enters the plus sign, then it's absorbing. If current leaves the plus sign, then it's delivering. Sources can be delivering or absorbing energy. Resistors only absorbing energy. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope um, this makes sense. Um, ask if uh, you don't understand it.